Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full time reseller. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, it is time for Facebook members share their bolos. This month, I chose to have everybody share their most unexpected item, their most unexpected bolo item to be on the lookout for. First off, before we get started here, if you're not in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, definitely check out the links below. I have two different groups. Um, be sure that you uh, get involved and then you can be in the next video if you're not in this one. All right, so... Again, this is an unexpected bolo shared by face group, group members. Everyone will be anonymous unless they are a member of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. If they are a member of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, they will get a special shout out. So um, if you'd like to join memberships, you can click on the join button down at the bottom of this video. If you don't see the join button, there is an actual link in the description of the video. Sometimes it doesn't show up. That join button is gonna take you to this screen, which is going to explain memberships. So um, this is just kind of a bonus video that I'm doing and I'm just giving an extra shout out to members as a bonus. So it's not actually a part of memberships. It's just a little bit something extra and another way that I can kind of advertise for their eBay store or YouTube channel. All right, you guys, let's get started. All right, cost of goods, 10 cents from a pallet of books from the Goodwill that he paid a total of $40 for. This is a cold case box set, um, DVD set, discs, one through six, and it sold for $219.99. Okay, the next item sold on Poshmark for $250. Um, picked up at a local thrift store for $10. She said she knew they were quality because they were leather and made in Italy, and these actually retail for $390. So a fantastic bolo. Okay, Magic the Gathering cards can definitely be a bolo. Member of the group picked these up in a bulk buy at a yard sale, had no idea what they were worth, so decided to do an auction, and they sold for $96. So when in doubt, you can always try an auction. Okay, you guys, a big money bolo. This is a Build-A-Bear Moons Aglow Werewolf. You guys, it sold for $249.99. She picked it up at Savers, a thrift store, for $3.99 and sold in a few hours. This next item was picked up with a lot of ducks and other birds. She paid $5 for all of them, had them listed for about two months, and sold them for a best offer of $48. So, um doesn't look like they're signed or anything like that. So great bolo there. Unexpected for sure. The next item comes from Mindful Recycle. And I will tell you, she is a major bolo finder. You definitely want to go follow her on YouTube. Look at this bolo. She picked this up at an estate sale and she did pay up for it. She paid $325 for this item, but it sold for $2,400. It's a Heartland Disneyland Railroad locomotive super awesome bolo this next item is definitely unexpected this was heading to the trash so she saved it from the trash and took a best offer of fifty dollars and 99 cents so this is a milwaukee plastic case for a tool and there is no tool um, and it looks like the buyer paid shipping so that is awesome this next item was picked up for $25 at a thrift store. It was missing the mouthpiece. She ran an auction and it sold for $344. It is a saxophone made in Japan. It's a Yamaha. Definitely look up instruments, you guys. There can be big money in these. Oh my goodness, another unexpected bolo. This is another Build-A-Bear. This is Bossy Silver Ford Mustang 50th Anniversary 
limited edition horse, you guys. It sold for $499.99. He picked this up at the Goodwill for $4. Oh my goodness. The next item is an awesome unexpected bolo. These are song books, bluegrass song books. She picked up five of them for 75 cents each at a local thrift store, had them listed for about a month for $54 and took a best offer of $50. I am absolutely loving the unexpected bolos. Okay, check this out. This is a laser disc player. This was sitting in his death pile for three months. He finally looked it up. It sold in five days for $250. He paid $10 for this. Awesome. Get those money piles listed, you guys. Vintage sealed VHS. Make sure you're looking them up. They are trending big time. Um, she picked this up at a garage sale. She paid $30 for over a hundred tapes and Dumb and Dumber Sealed sold for $299. The next item is this clock. It looks like it's a replica from a department store and picked this up at a Goodwill for $4.99 and it sold for $180. And it says Marshall Fields State Street Clock. Never heard of it, but definitely be on the lookout. The next item is this Philips DVD-R player recorder. Picked this up at a Goodwill for $4.99 and she sold it for $202 and the buyer paid shipping. So I know the combo units can also be a great bolo. The next item are these Jockey Garfield Valentine's underwear. How funny is that? Um, she got these off of Facebook Marketplace, so probably had about a dollar in them. It was a, bought, um, a lot of toys that she bought, and she sold these for $49.75. Okay, this was a personal purchase that turned into, I'm selling it because it's worth money. Um, she ended up selling this little dog for $80. It's a pug figurine. It actually had a chipped ear and a broken leg that had been glued back on, and it still sold for $80. I'm not sure if Pugnacious is the brand. The next item is a Cutco wood block. You guys, this is just the wood block. I have sold these before. Definitely a bolo item. It sold for $59.99 with free shipping. She picked it up at a garage sale for $4, and it sold within a week. Okay, the next item has not been listed yet, but you can see here he shows comps, so I wanted to show it. He got this baseball bat at a uh, garage sale for $5, and you can see the comps on this are $330, $199, $275. It is an Easton baseball bat, so definitely be on the lookout. Okay, so this item was on the side of the road, so it was a trash pickup. It sold for $150, best offer. It's a Simplicity Gusto one canister vacuum cleaner. Uh, yeah, check the side of the road, guys. Free is good. The next item is a vintage cookie jar that sold for $350, and it's, it looks like a clock uh, cookie time. And she paid $8 at a local thrift store for this, and it sold about a month for full asking price. So, wow, very cool. The next item is a San Francisco music box resin flower basket, plays my favorite things. Bought it in a state sale for 50 cents and it sold for $160.50. It looks like there was a bidding war on a five day auction and it did come with the original box. The next is a silk scarf made in Japan. It's called Jack and Charlie's Club. It is vintage. This came from the Goodwill and they paid $4 for it. Um, never heard of that brand, so definitely something to keep your eyes open for. I'm not sure if it was the print or the brand. Okay, I love these kind of bolos. This is Pantene Texturized Spray Wax. It's rare, hard to find. Picked it up at the Goodwill for $1.99 and sold in under a week, and it was even partially used. So he definitely found a bolo there. All right, you guys, another vintage VHS, sealed VHS. This one is a 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and it sold for $220. She got this uh, for a dollar, and it sold within minutes of posting for full asking price. And it looks like if you find the one with Pizza Hut on it, they sell for even more. Okay, these stickers came from a church barn sale for 25 cents, sold these for $150 free shipping, and they are hook Ups skateboard sticker decals. Jeremy Klein. Wow. Okay, this next item is a vintage brooch that was purchased at the Goodwill for $2.99. It sold in a couple days of listing for $180. And I cannot read the brand. Uh, Sh Shriner, New York, maybe? I love vintage Christmas. Check these out. They came in a box lot, an auction for $40, sold in less than 24 hours, best offer of $160. Lipper and Man Christmas Caroler Elves, Big Eyes set of four, made in Japan. Okay, he picked this up at a garage sale with around 500 Wade porcelain figurines and a bunch of random antique smalls, paid $20. He sold this on eBay for $1,349. It's a rare low number MCM acrylic Louis Vaughn something. Okay, this next one is an ashtray, you guys, from an antique mall, $24 each. The first one sold for $150, and this one sold for $169.99. It's a Stork Club ashtray, a rare ashtray, you guys. Amazing. Okay, the next item is a lot of 79 War Games tanks and vehicles. And he picked up a bunch of these the last day of an estate sale, um, paid $25 for the entire shelving unit, and he sold a bunch. But this one went for $150. This next item is an antique Russian painted bisque terracotta girl. Um, it's a Dunave. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but this doll sold for $660 on auction. She picked it up at a Savers for $3.99. Wow. The next item comes from YouTuber Be Carried Away. Her channel is amazing. She is definitely a bolo finder. Go check her out. And this is her bolo. Okay, so she picked up these Vietnam Army military pants from 1967. She paid $4.99 each, and as you can see, she sold all three pair. They sold within a week for just under $50 each, so definitely a bolo item. So this next item was given to him free. It is a Pottery Barn handcrafted quilt. It sold for $146.20, buyer paid shipping, and he says now he wished he would have priced higher because they go for way more. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Okay, this next item comes from Bolo Buddies member Jack's Treasures, and he does storage units so definitely check them out and they are bolo finders check out these socks or i guess i should call them knee-high socks paid a dollar for a whole stack maybe 16 pairs sold on average of 25 dollars a pair really fast says they may have left some money on the table and could have possibly auctioned them and made more Okay, the next item comes from eBay store, Sisters Rescued Treasures. They do not have a YouTube channel, but that is their eBay store, so definitely check them out. And the Vera Bradley hipster was bought at the Goodwill for $5, and they sold it for $23.40, and the pictures were bought at a thrift store for $5 for both of them, and those sold for $22.50. Looks like it's some sort of dolphin photo. I love this next one because I saw it and I was like, I had no idea about this. So these are Christopher Pike books. They're teen horror paperback books. There was a lot of 20. They bought it on Facebook Marketplace for $10 and they sold on auction for $385. Okay, this next item, he sold these and they sold 10 minutes after he posted them. They sold for $69.97, and they are Z-Coil women's shoes. 
with springs, pain relief, paid a dollar at a yard sale. Wow. This next item is a bolo item that I always look for. These are alabaster or marble eggs, and I also usually lot mine up, but they said they pick these up for 25 cents to a dollar. They will lot them in a group. Um, this particular set he paid $2 for and sold for $68.88. Okay, we have another sealed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. This one sold for $150, picked it up for $0.50 cents at an estate sale, took a best offer of $150 within 20 minutes of listing the item. So it looks like it was an auction and they took a best offer. Okay, she picked these Adventures in Wonderland Through the Looking Glass book set up at HFH. I don't know what that is. Uh, for 50 cents and these sold in 15 minutes for $45. So what is HFH? I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, the next item is this Kirk's Folly hair barrette. Definitely a Bolo brand. She got this at a church rummage sale for $1, sold the same day for $175. This did go internationally. This next item he picked up at a garage sale for $5. It sold the next day for full asking price plus shipping, so $160 plus shipping. It's a Casio electronic cash register. So, wow, $5 at a garage sale. What a steal of a deal. That's a fantastic bolo. Okay, I love this next one. Somebody saw this bolo in this group they went to a church sale and found the item and listed it and sold it for $339.15. The cost of goods was around $4 for this item. And that was a comforter set and it was used in the show Full House. Okay, this next item came from the Goodwill, paid $30, flipped it in two hours for $139.95. It is a Monsoon MM1000 Multimedia Flat Panel Satellite. Okay, this next item is a Michael Simon Sunflower Sweater Cardigan. It's vintage, it's embellished, it's super fancy. She paid a dollar for this at a consignment store and it sold for $177.77. Definitely a bolo. Okay, so the next item is a set of tequila shot glasses, it looks like. Uh, bought these at the Salvation Army for $1 each. They weren't, there weren't any used ones listed. New comps were around $250, so she listed them for $199 and accepted a best offer of $150 on those. Okay, this one came from a free book pickup. And they sold this book for $275, Sailing Around the World, Captain Joshua. I don't know. Books can go for crazy money. You just got to find the right ones and do your homework. This, this next item is a Mystery of History uh, Linda Hobar Audio CD. Picked this up at the Goodwill bin, so probably had around $1.50 in it. She thought maybe she could get $15 out of it, and it ended up selling for $49.99. So that is definitely unexpected. Okay, this next item is a vintage Ralph Greenfield pool cue, cue and carrying case. Made in Japan. Picked this up at a local thrift store for $21.59. It sold for $599 in less than 12 hours. All right, she found this in her dad's closet for free. He got it in the 90s and never wore it, sold it on auction, and it sold for $57. Um, starting bid was 30 and she said her dad gets the profits. I'm actually surprised it didn't go for more because it's got the stripes on the side. Okay, so he bought a whole bag stuffed with golf clubs for $5 at an auction, and these Cobra Fly Z Speed Channel 56789 sold for $275. You can tell I know nothing about golf clubs. This next bolo sold on Etsy for $44.99. It is a vintage Florida State windbreaker pullover. Um, paid $7 for this and... 
it took looks like a few months to sell so definitely be on the lookout for these vintage sports tops okay trying to figure out what this is neo something gravity feed airbrushing kit new in the box got it at the goodwill for five dollars and 99 cents and it sold quickly for $99. So it looks like it's some sort of airbrushing kit. Okay, the next item was given to him free from a lady that came into his brick and mortar secondhand shop. She just gave him a bunch of stuff. And this little toy figure sold for $20 on eBay. Um, and it sold within an hour of listing. And it looks like it is a Tim Me little vintage uh, army toy okay the next item is from franklin hill ventures he has uh, booths so definitely check him out for content on booths he picked this up at a thrift shop for eleven dollars and it sold for full asking price of 80 and the buyer paid shipping it is a folk art um, carving wood carving i think it's folk art okay the next one comes from jody toy attic Another awesome YouTube channel with lots of content about toys. She sold this Garfield for $85 plus shipping. She did say that she paid way too much for it. She paid $40 for it, but she said if you can find them cheap to definitely pick them up. They are a bolo. And it's a Garfield cat bed. Okay, the next item comes from Anytime Picker. Definitely go check out his YouTube channel for reseller content. He features great bolo items and he picked up this Halo portable phone laptop charger car jump starter. I have no idea, but he sold it for $89 and 10 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And he got that at the Goodwill for $10 and 29 cents. The next item comes from the Rebel reseller. And I will tell you, this girl is a major bolo finder. Check her out for sure. She got this for $3 at an estate sale and sold it for $75. It is a Pottery Barn Red Jewel Garland 60-inch Christmas holiday decoration. So definitely bolo for that. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. If you would like to join memberships, I would love to have you. I'd love to advertise your eBay store, your YouTube channel. Um, I actually have a featured members video that I just did. That is if you are at the $4.99 level, you do get featured in a monthly video. Go look for this thumbnail. You can see exactly how it works. If you'd like to join, at the bottom of every video, there is a button that says join. If you don't see that, you can look in the description of the video. Um, I also have a link there. Also, be sure to join my Bolo Buddies Facebook groups. Um, this is what one of them looks like. And then I'm going to show the thumbnail of the other one as well. Uh, they are both linked down in the description. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter and also Pinterest. So again, I try to do lots of fun things where I share bolo items. My channel is based on bolos. I love sharing about items to be on the lookout for, items that you can buy low and sell high. Thank you again for being here. Thank you for watching and go check out another video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.